Thank you for listening. This is the Solar Monk Show, episode twenty-five. Today's guest, D. Mason. Yeah, I think. Uh, I mean, it, with art, with art, uh, writing, animation, painting, any of that shit, it's all about like um, finding some kind of flow state. That zone. I seem, I seem to work faster. Everything lines up better. Just having um, that focus, really intense focus. Uh, yeah, man. I uh, I would say it it would it's you really are not producing all the way like you could be uh, unless you are in it. Like, cause I'll I'll read shit that I've written um, mm. when not or when I'm even just a little bit distracted or when something else is on my mind. That's why I want, once it's once it happens, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm a little I'm a little ornery. Uh, right. The wife says, <laughs> she's like, and that's why I prefer, you know, overnight. Um, right. you know, you, you're not being like a, a dickhead to the people around you. Exactly. Cause you know, that's not at all what it is. And it's, nah. I mean, especially when it's uh, the babies and the wife, like I'm, you know, the last thing I, and, and it's tough for, for them to, to wrap their head around they're like well what's the benefit of you being here anyway if, you know home from work if you're just in this asshole work mode <laughs> you know like you spoke that's the whole point of you being able to work from home is like and so it's tough to like balance that kind of thing um yeah, yeah work-life you know, balances so I, when I it's at no your idea. house <laughs> yeah <laughs> no clue no clue it's, i mean uh, being a freelance artist i'm pretty much on 24 7 you know like my yeah, you my, have to yeah yeah my girlfriend will come visit me and i'll just get a commission message while i'm hanging out with her and yeah. i only take off like two days every couple of months or something <laughs> yeah. yeah and i'll have to stop whatever we're doing and like you know, message message them back, or you know, try to arrange some kind of commission thing, or tell them when I'm, I'll start working. It's like I have to be on twenty four seven, so I, I don't even. Yeah, completely and totally dependent on um, the money when it's there, and yeah. that is one thing that I hate about it. Like, and I and a lot of people, um, I think make that assumption uh, that mm. it's like, oh, you, you you work whenever you want. What you know, that's okay technically it's true yeah. <laughs> but you know the only way to eat right. is to constantly be doing something like yes. something yeah you know? i mean yeah i know you see me always working on like 10 million things it's like dude uh, it's just, insane <laughs> there's no uh there's no way to make money unless you're like doing 10 million things yeah yeah you I mean, literally got to be a, a fucking all-star you know doing a backflip triple fucking flip dunk or some shit for, for people to be like oh yeah you're poor and you're talented i guess i'll patronize you yeah yeah i mean and, and i mean i guess because there's so many folk in you know not not that exact situation but a situation similar enough like everybody's had to uh i, I don't know if this is the right uh word to use uh to describe it but um the 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 gig economy sort of thing that's happened oh, yeah. to our generation um I, I don't know if it's like part of part of that uh you know i, I don't know much about economics or, or study too much into that kind of thing but it just there's nothing seems to like, study it's all fucking made up and they make it <laughs> well, up and they just okay i get yeah so i haven't learned <laughs> their language how to communicate it right you know, exactly the motherfuckers they're they're magical there's... incantations to right. fucking you know all their it, coded symbols that uh, give them wealth <laughs> Right. Yeah. So, and, and obviously, you know, um, well, that, that has a lot to do with it. Uh, and, and so many of us are like, we got every single finger in every pie we can fucking smell, you know, All just right. praying for something to hit, you know, motherfuckers uh, are desperate. And so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I try not to be man but i mean it, you can't help but be like you're just like you're thinking about rent you're thinking about this you're th like just like this tooth thing like i i cracked a tooth in december i got uh dental insurance and they told me i had to wait 12 months to get my my tooth removed and it's like i'm just freaking out and i can't help but be desperate and i'm like working non-stop and my teeth are hurting and there's fucking nothing i can do about it i'm paying dental insurance 
and it is not offering me anything. <laughs> Man, it, it's like so, and and as you get up, that shit starts to compound. Oh yeah. So now, like, I got first. I had my gut thing, uh, right. where being on probation for all them years, drinking a fifth of whiskey every night, worried, you know, right, what what my life was gonna be <laughs> ever yeah. again. Uh, Your only uh, modality but, of freedom was consumption, so you drank. I mean, that's exactly. The that's the way and, I was when I was an alcoholic. I just, I. It's the only way to get the head somewhere, yeah. uh, you know, uh, other than where it's where you're at. And so that, you know, that messed up my gut. Then uh, this, this thing in my, my sinuses and my ears from living in shitty trailers my whole life, you know, mm -hmm. or, or, you know, in my car pretty much uh, like working on construction sites, you know, right. just uh, my sinuses are all jacked up now so much so that, so when I crack the tooth, I got it coming from both sides. It's like messing up my jaw and down into my sinuses. Mm -hmm. and having ear aches and like all these things you learn how to mitigate uh right. you know like poor people do you know <laughs> poor right. folks health care plan and that's why we're so creative man i i, I guess you know that's uh, it's one of those yeah. things that it's a, out of necessity people everybody is right. some folk um never figure out which way they are creative because they never mm -hmm. are challenged enough to to have to dig in right. maybe you know, but it, yeah, man, it's once all these things compound on you and then you're, uh, it, it comes to a point where you got things so far listed, uh, to, to knock out, you know, like you got this big list of things to knock out and every single dime that comes in is you, you, even if you, you hate it, you still have to come to a point where it's like, um, money is just everything. It's just no matter how yeah. much, you know, no matter how much you try to balance things out and focus on other things, mm -hmm. your art, your family, whatever, right. money is going to come up and flick you right on the bridge of your fucking nose and be like, nah, son, that's not uh, what this, this, this life is about. <laughs> right. This is what we worship in this culture, man. This is what we got to do. You know, that's how, I mean, that's really how you get dispossessed is that, um, you can never own your time. You can never own your space. You can never own your thoughts. You know, yeah. you're constantly producing, uh, you know, money for other people and their businesses. Yeah. You know, even if you do the illusion uh, that you of control that you do have over it, um, right. you bet you're you're taught you better goddamn monetize that shit real right. quick um, and don't fo don't focus on nothing else. Like no matter what angle, like the things that it's it's uh so, you know i i wouldn't want to be nothing else i'm glad right. like that's one thing i'll say mm -hmm. my my sleeping in my car is the is the superpower that i have now like the only superpower <laughs> you know mm -hmm. when you so when you don't uh you know have any like sort of uh other powers to come up in this kind of a thing mm -hmm. fuck man that's it I, I i'm 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 thankful for it now but god damn nobody should have to, i don't wish it on nobody else i certainly right. don't want my kids to have to to go through it but i don't yeah. want them growing up being uh you know spoiled uh pmc uh you know t twitch kids all day either like like i i want them it's a weird thing. That's a, that's a that's a weird dynamic about it, I guess. If I had kids, I would want them to live in the real world and not create some kind of simulacrum where they could like simulate freedom, you know, through spectacle. Yeah, I mean, and shit. How do you even? <laughs> how do you I, I just, do that, bro? It's I, it's I, so I, crazy. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! I, I I of course you know I'm still relatively new to the dad thing, so that's literally on yeah. my brain all the time that that uh part of it being it's like a know, whole other dimension to the it, whole labor and trying to you know survive and then also think about well i'm programming these children to like take care of themselves and exactly you know exactly like so that's why i try to focus on with mine so much the uh, focus on the growing right um you know making things grow um and build building things right and but i mean still so og says to me the other day 
uh, I can't remember what he was talking about. I, I believe so. He's he loves uh, Transformers and Ninja Turtles, and we hit up the eBay and the the uh, Facebook Marketplace and are able to get him, you know, cool stuff because we buy it secondhand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he said to me the other day. And he's just four. He's like, I want the expensive one from Amazon. It's like, oh, no. (laughs) And I'm like, what the fuck do I say? It broke my heart, to be honest with you, man. Like, because to tell him, it's just, it just, uh, uh, there's like a, a, it's a difficult, how do you explain that? How do you explain? And especially, you know, I mean, me and the wife, we're around them all the time. This is what we do. She's the greatest mother that's ever walked this earth. She does she does nothing but just make sure them kids are good all the time. Right. But still, you know, you have, there's other influences and they have to have those other influences. You feel like you're, you're depriving them. You yeah. Know? You can't, you can't, you know, raise them in a bubble. Right. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's just, like how you teach them about economic violence and uh, <laughs> dispossession and all about that. About the shit. police. Dude, oh, yeah, police, do you know man. how much propaganda is being aimed at I'm talking about babies. Oh, I'm yeah. talking about propaganda coming right at two, three, four. I mean, it just Im- immediately, it's just, I mean, I it's it's really hard to explain to a kid uh who watches cartoons and plays with toys. Um, you know, no, you don't th- these are not people we talk to this isn't something that these people are are dangerous you know how do you tell them the, like i was trying to tell them the difference between firemen and and police you know because it again this is things that are coming at him all the time he asked questions he's like you know uh he literally asked me he said are are policemen like spider-man are they the good guys you know and i no 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 not not the way we not the way we have it set up no 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 uh-huh. It's just very, how do you, it's so difficult. It's so it, like explaining this world. Hell, I don't, I can nobody explain it to me right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think uh, the way, yeah, I had, man, it's just, it's too much, man. I, it's hard. It strains my, like my, I wouldn't even call it friendships. My acquaintances here in Alabama, um, you know, people get so mad at me because I'm always talking about it because it's just weird to be like no one ever talks about how fucked up things are, you know. And then if not you ever all talk, the way. not right, all the yeah. way, yeah. And if you ever if you ever talk about it, people just start kind of pushing you away. <laughs> yeah, and they'll be like, "You're negative," and it's like, "I'm not negative. You live inside magical thinking, where you can <laughs> assign negative and positive traits to reality when reality is just fucking happening. It just is. People. Yes, there's material conditions. It's not negative, motherfucker. It's just what it is and you don't like thinking about other people because we live in this culture of like atomized individuals who just all chase their individual dreams which is destroying everything and and it's immediate uh animosity and uh so you'll get the push away but you'll also get the full like oh you are you're challenging me like i have to be they have to be angry about it um you know and because they're trained to do that well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess so. I mean, and and I, I like it makes sense is that it being the response. Um, people are uh, taught to to be on the defensive by the material conditions, <laughs> you know, um, mm-hmm. as much as they are by the uh, conditioning. Mm-hmm. Uh, Best thing about material conditions is that they condition you. Yes. <laughs> and that's most. why they're so motherfucking important and people don't want to talk about it. People want to like, you know. So this this is kind of what one of the things that I did want to discuss today and, and yeah. thinking about it after what we, we mentioned last night and and separating because I uh coming from the background that I come from being really most you know how it is um when you're when you're young and really really poor is you just get apolitical sort oh, yeah. of um and so uh there's i've got a lot of reading to do i guess is my is my point i'm not gonna i'm not uh-huh. gonna deny that but 
when we're talking about this, this, these, these classes, right. And these, um, I mean, obviously you got, you got the top, they, they're, they're comfortable. They ain't worried about shit, no. but how, how is it that they, that these people who are really are all on credit and they, and they don't, they aren't living half as good as they think they are. Right. How, how is it that they get, they manage to get such class solidarity and, and work out, you know, um, how, how is it that they managed to trick those folks so well into being like that with, with, I mean, they even tricked poor folks into it. Like you said, they trick these people you're talking about yeah. who will, who will alien, who will push you away and, and get mad. They, they yeah. poor folks too. But how is it that, how is it that they got folks so in that mode? Um, is it, I mean, obviously every, everybody's got a cell phone that makes pancakes, you know, that type of whole thing, right? Yeah. The TV and um, there's, there's all that, but like, man, it blows my mind. I'll never understand. Yeah. Well, it's because of most almost, well, yeah, at this point, all technology simulates biological imperatives and um mm -hmm. and our freedom only works to you know i mean our modality of freedom is consumption and everybody thinks of themselves as consumers and when you talk about anything or being critical of that structure you're basically like you you're saying you're going to take away their only freedom because they know that their whole life mm. is going to be labor mm. they know that okay. they're going to work 60 years and like barely own anything and like you're trying to take away the treats and the treats and the spectacle are the only reason that anyone believes in it. Cause we have this like mass simulation of culture that we all like share symbols from. Hmm. I mean, that's the real thing is that yeah. people, people believe that they're the same as Jeff Bezos or some other rich person because they watch the same TV shows. Cause we have the same streaming services coming directly into our homes and giving us bullshit. <laughs> And they think they're connected because they have this like simulacrum of culture, but it's not culture. It's, it's a, it's, it's a fucking spectacle simulation and I, I, hollow as fuck and, and yeah. has no, I mean, okay. You, I guess you could argue that maybe, um, the, the veil is slipping for, uh, from it more and more, but, but at the same time, technology is getting better at maintaining it. Um, yeah. And I so, think conservatives have finally like caught up on technology. So conservatives, I mean, like there's more conservative mouthpieces on the internet than there are leftists, you know, mm -hmm. and they get yeah. paid to do it, you know, because there's lots yeah. of people shelling out money for conservative mouthpieces. And no one's, also, <laughs> no one's giving also, an anti-capitalist money to, to talk about anti-capitalism. Right, right, right. I mean, that is the thing because, you know, the broader, uh, term conservatism includes a lot of folk who don't realize, or maybe who would argue that it doesn't include them. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they, of, they'd, they'd be mad about it. <laughs> yeah. Because the, you know, because of the magical thinking, you know, of Western culture right, right, right. is that like liberal thoughts and conservative actions equals um, leftist or something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. It's like it, nothing it, about your personal life is even vaguely, left of just consumption till you die and killing poor people but somehow I, you're leftist it's uh, so it's weird sometimes when you so this the republicans have now diversified though in in some what because like when i first started paying attention uh right after 9 11 uh, yeah. i was i was you know that was like the big the big thing uh, -huh. uh and the, the, it was that those years there was it was very it was very different it was a very different republican uh or conservative movement and it was it was uh i don't know maybe it was because i was young i couldn't see that it was uh sort of um obvious uh and that they were playing you know an obvious role of uh but i remember very distinctly everybody uh was on the war tip everybody there i mean there was a there was a few obviously yeah there was there was dissent but um the the republican party was a was a powerhouse that was unapologetic in what they were and they were this very specific thing but now yeah. they've they've done the 
the the libertarian side of it has opened them up a little bit and i think they've had to switch their game up to mm -hmm. bring in young folks right and so i think that's that has uh you know like you were talking about there's there's more there's just more of it and mm -hmm. there's more weird spaces to <laughs> but again sometimes they got a bigger tent yeah 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 but but sometimes you see it it's weird how i don't know if you saw uh on twitter recently but uh, you know, uh, who Kevin Sorbo is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you see him? Uh, he tweeted where he was like, um, oh, if the shot, if the vaccine is free, then why isn't insulin and um, all this other stuff free? Why, you know? Uh, that should be your first thought as a motherfucking Christian. <laughs> so that's one of those moments where it, it's like you're hit. Cause I guess he is, he's, he's like a, a Christian type dude or whatever. That's, that's why he's on, on, I don't know. I don't know much about uh, him other than the show Hercules, but right. um, it's just, I know that he's now he's famous for being this conservative dude. That's always talking that shit. Right. And for him to come out with something like that. And it, it, it's just so funny. It's so funny how uh, that, the, that, that, what, what that dynamic can create and, and people can, not even have any idea of the multiple levels of these illusions that they are, you know, trying to sort through and, and project as their own. And, you know, it, it's, it's not knowing what the fuck is going on. And I mean, he's got to have the people that are famous mouthpieces like that. They, they got to have, I don't know. It might be just him tweeting it. He's just an idiot and you right. know, whatever, but it, it's that, that type of dynamic is much more difficult to navigate than what it was back you know uh when it first started getting really scary for me mm -hmm. and and so much so that it's it's completely unrecognizable like how do, how the fuck does anybody not get just completely uh i don't know caught up in the in the simulation yeah. you know like what what even is that's your it, best option really i mean you know exactly because <clears throat> exactly. as an individual you can't really uh fight like the superstructure or whatever <laughs> the superstructure of violent extraction an individual can't really do anything if you do anything too crazy you'll just get targeted and evaporated ethered you know someone will fucking shoot you in the head or something yeah uh i mean yeah and i guess folk like it, you know you you get to a point where you can where you're comfy enough to be able to do anything really all you're going to do is the most you'll probably do is pontificate maybe throw a little bit of that money around right. but i mean every what is it the, the old saying every donkey swears his loads the heaviest right um you know uh yeah and and at so you you're dealing with all all of that kind of stuff and i don't know who 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 the fuck knows man who the fuck knows where uh how, how to actually sort it out and get people on the same page about anything really all they all all they can do is create illusions that sort of do it for a little while you know it's the only thing that'll really um work is if like the spectacle stops long enough for people to realize how bad the material conditions have gotten and how we live on clouds of debt and shit you know yeah. so like i think that's why 2020 really popped off is because people were sitting at home and they had nothing to do but think about how stupid and horrible our leadership <laughs> is yeah. So everybody just like, you know, yeah. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna go to the courthouse and I'm gonna yell at the fucking cops. Yep. Yeah, you can't let folk um get to thinking too much about it. Right. Uh, that's why there's a constant spectrum. That's why literally everybody has their phone two inches from their fucking face and then they stop doing that and they stare at Netflix and then they stare at the fucking phone and they stare at Netflix and then they fucking look at <laughs> Facebook and motherfuckers cannot sit with their own thoughts for 30 seconds. Yeah. And and, and that's true. And I don't know if you're not on Facebook, are you? No, I, I never had a Facebook. Facebook um, is like the largest collection of like dead brained reactionaries <laughs> that you can imagine. Like, it's just like they're literally just like uh, constantly just needy, needing, needy, needy, needing. And then like bitching about people who need like housing or you know what i'm saying like they need emotional hey. and constant spectacle 
but they complain about people needing housing or, or food. We, yeah. What, what I get, what I do get from it from uh, Raven, like what she tells me right. it's, it, it makes, I'm constantly, uh, my decision is affirmed. <laughs> Stay it off of there. Like I, uh, it also just my, my nature. Um, I don't know. My mind your business is like, uh, I think that that's a, a thing that for, I don't know how, I don't know what happened, mm -hmm. but just as a culture, I don't know what right. it is, but we just forgot about mind your business. Right. Um, and no. And so, cause if you mind your business, then you really have a chance to know what your business is and what it should be. Right. You know what I mean? It They're chewing on this culture war bullshit that they hand out every week for us to talk about instead of, you know, the bullshit. The, I mean, the real, real business. The right. real business. Yeah. If you mind your business, it will – then all of a sudden you'll start to see the real the real you know bullshit. And that's what I think that, you know, Ray, I'm glad Raven – does it and and keeps in touch with folks that are not around in that way uh you know for for some of those things um the 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 older folks like to like to see the kids uh you know older folks in the family and that's mostly how that how they do it but um all of the rest of it seems to be and i mean there, don't get me wrong there's a lot of that on twitter too sure um but i at least you can I feel like I, I can curate Twitter a little bit better, um, mm -hmm. you know, to just get the things that I want. And the folks who, you know, who do e either mind their business or know what their business is right. <laughs> very well, you know, yeah. uh, oh, I, I could not I could not do it from the stuff that Raven tells me. In 2020, I was getting like private messages from people I didn't know who were just like, I hope you die and shit. Jesus Christ. Uh, just, you know, because I, I, um, I make political comics. And that year I was making goddamn one almost every day. And, uh, and I would post it and people wouldn't even like react to it. They would just send me private messages. And then like I kept getting added by conservatives who were like trying to talk crazy to me and then I was friends with a bunch of conservatives and they were uh they were just they would comment on everything and I'd be like man you don't have to police me yeah <laughs> you know like you don't exactly. have to be if you don't like it move the fuck on right you know? yeah, like if you don't <laughs> like me or my thoughts fuck off exactly it's that simple you don't have to like intervene and like try to correct me or or any of that dumb shit it's always the freedom. It's always the my freedom dudes too. Yeah. I will never, I will never They're, understand that. Yeah. All those motherfuckers, well, even on left side or whatever. Like I've, a lot of leftists love policing people. Like that's oh, like God, one of the, yeah. because they feel helpless and they feel like they're not in control of anything. So they basically just go around trying to digitally bop people on the head for using the wrong words or da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. And it just alienates people even further. No one trusts the left and. Honestly, I you shouldn't trust most of the left. About ninety eight percent. Yep, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I mean, you shouldn't trust most most of just about anybody the way it's going. It, uh -huh. it, these that uh, whole you should love everybody, but don't trying, trust exactly. nobody. Yeah, exactly. Or trust trust people to be what what they are. Right. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I mean, the a lot of that uh, trying to be the smartest guy in the room. That's like the so. The left likes to talk a lot about how much they hate uh, toxic masculinity and stuff like that. And, you know, and while at the same time doing this sort of I'm, I'm the smartest motherfucker in the room type of thing to everybody. And there ain't no, you know, that's the same kind of that's that's that same shit. That's that same kind of shit. Like the constant trying to um, belittle or one up somebody else and your knowledge or your, and, and it's just fraught with that shit. I see that shit constantly. Um, I mean, you can talk shit about somebody or about somebody's ideas or say that some, an idea is shit without, you know, uh, without doing it in, in that way, without, like you were saying, trying to police people um, and trying to, trying to make people feel dumb. That's, that's a big part of it. 
Like, right. yeah. Well, if, you, little... if you love the, the you, I'm not. If you love people who, who are who have less resources and less options, that's in that's in education and knowledge too, man. People do, right. are, you know, do the best they fucking can. Right. Uh, and and some folks, I mean, you know, shit. I didn't get a chance to finish high school. My right. homeless ass got kicked out for being homeless. Goddamn, right. you know, cut, cut me some fucking slack. I I ain't got. I, I never. W- was going to have a college degree. It was never a fucking option. There was no. not even loans, not even, not, cause I mean, people, people talk about that too. Like, uh, Oh, you know, you, if you do shit right, you can get loans. You can go. No, no, you gotta no, have you can't. To live, there's a bro. certain level of fucking poverty. Like, exactly. You cannot get any of that shit. Uh-huh. When I went to go try to get uh fast foot or I can't remember. Is that the, uh, I can't remember. I think that anyway, is. Yeah. When I went to go try to get loans, I couldn't get a loan because I had to get my parents' uh, signature. And I was like, I haven't lived with my parents in like three years. And they're like, well, you're, you're 18 and da, 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 da. And I'm like, I'm fucking homeless. Like I, yeah. like I, I sleep on a f- bunch of friends' couches. I, I sometimes sleep in the park. I, you know, I'm trying to make my life better and it, and everything. Like if, if you don't have anything, you can't do anything. You can't. It, that's exactly it. And like people, I don't know. Uh, and people think that you're fucking making it up and shit. And it's like, no, have you ever been in a fucking room trying to get something done? And they're just like, well, you're not a real person yet. You need to go <laughs> become a real person. That's it come right back. there. That feel like there's a lot of ways. I've seen all the, not all the ways, but there's, uh, I've seen a lot of ways. There's a thousand ways you can do that to somebody where you, you might as well be, ju- be saying you're not a person, you you're know, not real. You're, you're not, not real. real. You're not really standing here. Where's your, where's your ID where, where you, you know, where's your uh, residence, your place of residence, two, two pieces of mail from the, from the last, you yeah. can't get, I want to see a check stuff. I need to see, I need to see this. Get, yeah. Like you, uh, shit from, from renters. It's, uh, it's always fucking something. And, and even if you can manage to square all that away, you know, like uh, I, in my situation, uh, I I had I, I there was some I had scored really high on a ACT I took in the seventh grade, um, and it like qualified me for getting a little extra help uh, at some colleges. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well, I got a little bump there. Let me see what else I can do. And, you know, living out of the car, not paying rent, you know, things like that, did what I could. But to to start in the process, it was I quickly realized that, like, you have to have a support structure. Yeah. You can't you you have to have something else set up. And a lot of these people will say, oh, I didn't I didn't get anything. I didn't inherit any inherit any money. Yeah. But, you you know, moms and dads was helping you out and and, you know. Uh, making sure you had a place bought to you stay your first food. car, bought yeah. you your first fucking car, gave you a place to stay, uh, paid your cell phone bill, yeah. uh, da, 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 like a million different things that people just take for granted that their parents do for them. Like my parents yeah. didn't do shit for me. I didn't even get school clothes most of the time, you know? I like, mean, I didn't get lunch the- money past like sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and Dude, my mom wouldn't sign the fucking I papers would, for free lunch I, half the time. Same exact shit. We had lunch in the hood. Uh, and that was where you would sneak, you'd get behind somebody in line who was wearing a hoodie and you would snatch stuff, you know, steal from the lunch counter, yeah. uh, from the lunch thing and put it in their hoodie and carry that and have them carry that shit out for you. And that was right. the only way I was eating, you know, a lot of the time and it, the forget about like how shitty the school, I'm sure it was like that down where you, God, it was probably, it was probably even worse. Uh, where where you was at? Where where'd you go to high school at? Scottsboro, Alabama. Scottsboro. Okay, I have been there, and yes, <laughs> it was exactly the same as that. Yes, we went yeah. to pretty much the same kind of. That there, there might be a little bit more money in Jefferson County, but I don't know. Uh, it's, there ain't it's shit in Scottsboro, really. Nothing. Ain't a ain't a motherfucking thing in Scottsboro. Every time we have an industrial park that opens up, they end up closing it within ten years. Dude, I remember having to go all the way to Chattanooga uh, to do a lot of stuff, uh, mm-hmm. or or go to um, Fort Payne uh, mm-hmm. and do a lot of stuff. <clears throat> We'd yeah, have to man. drive to like Huntsville. Huntsville, a, yeah, it's about a forty-five minute drive uh, west. Oh God, 
Yeah, that's basically, I mean. And we were never making that drive, so it didn't really happen that often. <laughs> same people that build the prisons, build the high schools. You know, it's always right. the same in these kinds of places. Oh, the yeah. same sort of rule structures and uh, systems are set up. The same disciplinary. Um, like, I was, I was lucky to come through, well, I guess – well, they didn't have cops everywhere. Yeah. Well, I time. guess I'm saying this, but as I'm saying, I literally got kicked out. So I got kicked out because I didn't have a legal residency. I was homeless. Right. Um, even though like good grades all the way up through, I was halfway through my senior year. Ha I mean, maybe a little less than halfway through my fucking senior year, man, about to do it. Uh, so I, I, they, they kicked me out for that. But when I immediately after it happened, I went out and, and told my friends who were out in the commons area, it was like break. And they started throwing chairs and just raising hell and screaming. And, you know, uh, and it, and it got a bit, I'm not going to use the word riotous, but they did. And they, wow. and I was, that was the grounds to like, make sure that I couldn't appeal it, that nothing I could do. You know, right. I was out, I was not coming back to that school cause I had incited a riot. Yeah. Um, it, but the police, escorted me the fuck out I, I all i could do whenever i told my friends about it it was me going over and grabbing my stuff you know so yeah. the I, I was escorted out by police so i guess i was there right at the beginning of that when that started yeah. um but my, nowadays uh-uh <laughs> oh, yeah. my senior year uh my art teacher tried to get me kicked out really yeah like i was i was probably not as good as I am now at art, but I was really good at art in high school. I was probably like heads and shoulders above Jesus. the people around me. And, um, <clears throat> but I couldn't go to art school because um, uh, I didn't have any art supplies. Uh, people were, would donate stuff to me. Um, people would buy stuff for me. Um, and my, my senior year, I was homeless. Uh, Jesus. And, then, <laughs> was, and that's the, that's the kid. That's the fucking kid we need to get rid of right there. Right, that's yeah. the one. Fuck that kid. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. They would, they would, you know, they would be like, you, you have a drug problem. And, uh, <sighs> and they started saying that before I was even on drugs, which I wasn't really on drugs in high school. I was too broke. You can be right. too poor for drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Not everybody's sure gonna shit can. Not everybody's gonna smoke you out and drink with you and that type of shit if you're poor. Nope. And or unless you're willing to do some dangerous shit. And again, I mean that's uh, yeah. that's what happened to me. Shit. I that, did that, that was a few the reason times. why. Yeah, that's why I had drugs is because I had to sell drugs in order to fucking eat. <laughs> you <Right>. know. <sighs> Fuck, man. I would just go without food, and I ate out of dumpsters. I like, and I'm like in fucking high school. You know, and oh, and then people in school are just giving me attitude and my and like my peers are just like talking shit to me and like motherfuckers would call me homeless. Oh. Uh, just Jesus. all kinds of shit. And so my life was just like constant hell. And I, if I did, could go back in time, I would have just quit school. There was no reason for me to be there. I didn't learn right. anything. I always read on my own, you know, like I always right. knew about what right. we were learning about before we learned about it, with the exception yeah. of math. Uh, <laughs> yep, that, that was me too. <laughs> yep, same here. Uh, you know, that's the thing. Like, it was ultimately, and I did uh, end up getting like I got a diploma out of it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have to get my GED or nothing like that, and I got it earlier than everybody else. Um, yeah. You know, so and, and again, uh, I might have. It could have been worse, of course. You know, because um, I was selling pills. Yeah. <laughs> at the time so i could have actually caught serious charges and and been real fucked up right. um so you know uh I'm, I'm glad that that it that it did happen the way it did and i didn't need that bullshit it was it it literally was was i was at risk um doing it mm -hmm. but and yeah sure as fuck didn't learn anything yeah or you just, and when you're a kid and there's all the adults around you are hostile or trying to get you arrested or trying to get you kicked out of school you just like stop trusting adults you just like run away from them you're like if yeah. i i would just shut down when i was around grown people yeah as yeah. soon as they Maybe found out my situation or whatever they were just like they were trying to get involved and make everything worse yeah 
he's like, what if we put you in a home? And I'm like, I'm almost 18 years old. You know, like, just leave me the fuck alone. I got yeah. a few more months and then like, I'll be free and y'all can fuck off and I can fuck off. Yep. Dude, th- like it never ceases to amaze how common maybe, uh, oh, well, and, and where, where we come from just, right. you know, this area, uh, this kind of a, this kind of a story is, you know, it's because it, literally there's like three stories. There's this story. There's mm-hmm. went into the military. Right. Uh, and there's, uh, you know, mommy and daddy were, were doing at least relatively okay. And then yeah. got some sort of a factory job, you know, right. um, yeah. or something like that. That's the most common, uh, you know, when we're talking about this like subclass, I guess I should say, um, small Southern towns, like growing up, whatever. Oh, well, maybe it's not just Southern towns. Maybe it's more than Southern towns, but it seemed that's all I knew really was. Right. Like, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like I never, I didn't really start going around and, and traveling and driving until um, later on. So right. I don't, I don't know much, but I will say that like uh, meeting more folk um, through social media, through, you know, Twitter and then like the EFF community and stuff like that, who are in these other, kind of rural, rural spots, right. uh, Midwest, out West, you know, um, even Northeast, you know, you see like, yeah, okay. It, it makes sense. Uh, you know, it, it is, it really is like we, we are at that point now where motherfuckers can just keep their mouth shut about the South being unique in, in these sorts of things. Right. That ain't, uh, that that kind of stuff it it ain't the case anymore it's it really is um it's all over the fucking place man right yeah well and also with the internet nothing's regional anymore every part of our identity is fetishized and like capitalized on so there's always somebody you know like the one thing i always use is like hip-hop you know like yeah rappers in new york now rap like they're from atlanta rappers in california rap like they're from you know wherever like it's, it's true yeah it's true nobody does anything regional anymore everything yeah. is like multi-genre um mixed up and yeah, yeah and like well that's because i think that's one of the problems we're always gonna have in this in this country while well, like it kind of surprises me that folks think it it works or things yeah. thought that it ever could work. <laughs> um, and I guess that it makes sense as to why there's such a concerted effort to, uh, to compartmentalize it in the right way. Right. Uh, I guess I should say a lot of, a great deal of money and power and labor is spent on doing that. Yeah. People trying to, a lot of money is spent on people, uh, explaining, uh, subjugation to the the powerless you know? <laughs> yeah, there it's it like, is. look you're just you're just a big dumbass okay like, yeah. you don't understand how this <laughs> this money and economy thing works yep. you're just gonna work for the next 60 years and never own anything and that's just the way it works it, you're that's just dumb, dumb. yeah this is the way yeah this is just uh the 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 it is written in the books you know which then, which book you talking about? Well, you haven't read the books because you're dumb. Uh, well, how, you know Show like, me the books. Well, which ones? How many the fucking books? books? The books you are always goddamn changing. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh man. It's like yeah. well, we got this secret book that you can't look at that says you're supposed to be a slave for the rest of your life. And it's like, <laughs> uh, can I see that book? And they're like, no, nah, you can't see this book. No, 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 no. This... And I, I mean, used you to... wouldn't understand it anyway. You, right. You you wouldn't get it. Yeah. And, and we, and we all experience celebrities and millionaires all the time and we know they're stupid as fuck. (laughs) I have watched, I've watched multiple long form interviews with Elon Musk and he is not saying anything intelligent. No, 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 no. That one's one that's like, that's a perfect. Yeah. That's like the perfect example. If you Uh, fucking read, when you listen to him, he is not saying anything. No. And, no, I, it's not. and I know I shouldn't like harp on people reading or whatever because people don't have time to read, but it's, it's real as fuck. If you read, you can listen to people who are stupid, but other people are thinking intelligent and you can just like see through everything they're saying. It's true. It's the truth. Like, I mean, especially, but if you just uh, watch TV and you listen to Elon Musk, you're like, mm, that was just or funny. the same ones, those, those people who, 
like, okay, it do, it does matter what you read. Um, you know, oh, yeah, most yeah, yeah. definitely, right, it does right. matter what you read, and and when you're reading the TV, <laughs> you know, right. uh, a lot of the time you are reading some bullshit. Right. Uh, you are reading some. I mean, grade A, actually, yeah, some very specifically specifically designed bullshit. You know, like uh, I one of the things that I am uh, grateful for about uh, having like the all of the content that we do. Like, okay, yeah, it's 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 a fucking kaleidoscope uh, designed to you know brain fuck you so good right. that you have a hard time focusing, but, right. but there, it, but it's all that there's a lot of shit out there. And if you get in that mode of, uh, of sorting through it, there's some good, there's some good shit and some real, real ass shit to be found for sure. Um, it, <laughs> it's a goddamn shame. Uh, everybody's too busy worried about each other's business. I, I heard it. Ex- I heard it explain that we're in a, an economy that has a scarcity for attention. Damn. And that, okay. That's and that good. you can rule the world if you can focus, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> if you can if you can defeat FOMO, the fear of missing out on some kind of big cultural dumb shit that's dispossessing people and everybody's talking about it or whatever. If you can steal your own time and and find the time and energy to focus, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. But the structure that's, is set up to where you can't. That's just it. I, your body funny. is in use. Your mind is in right. use. Your eyes are in use. Your ears are in use. And everybody wants you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> just listen. That's that's uh, another thing. You know, just Work, overall listen, as a culture. Watch, shut the fuck up. Yes. Shut the fuck up to just step one. Step you know, one, yeah. Step one. Shut right. the fuck up because like that's that's fucking everything up uh in general. Like um that listen to people that have experience, you know what I mean? If you right. if you have experience, genuine, real experience, be mm-hmm. be fucking honest with yourself about what you are. If you have real genuine yeah. experience, then sh- share the love. Mm-hmm. Other than that, shut the fuck up and don't right. worry about what other people are <laughs> are doing, man. Right. It, uh, yeah that that i think like just as a as a culture in general that's what i get from folk from other places uh, we, we conflate you know, that uh we conflate having an opinion with being intelligent yeah <laughs> and you can turn on a tv and gather a hundred opinions and then go around and just spewing them at people that's why i always <laughs> laugh when motherfuckers start talking goofy to me because i'm like i already know what you're gonna say yeah everything that's about to fucking come out of your mouth yeah, it's like, like a song I've heard a thousand right. times. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the chorus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, that's what I get from talking to people from other countries. Um, I never really got to Americans do that Americans don't before. shut up and listen. Yeah, yeah. We just don't know how to shut the fuck up. Mind just, our business. Just listen. <laughs> you know? And it's funny because, like, I mean, across the board, people from now, now that I, for the first time, you know, because again, I only talk to people who were, you know, usually uh, rural and poor for most mm-hmm. of my life. And lately, I've been talking to folk from other countries, uh, American rural and poor, I should say. Now, I've been right. talking to folk from other countries a lot more. And all of them, that's the one thread uh, that connects them is um, Americans don't shut the fuck up and mind their business. You know, yeah. they can't pay attention to shit. Because yeah. they're too busy running their mouth or worrying about somebody else's, yeah. you know, shit. We think we're the cops of the world. Yeah. Yeah. That, the cop mindset, that, that's it. People don't even know their cops are fucking cops. Leftists uh, who hate, who got a cab in their fucking bio and, and, and talk all that shit, yeah. <laughs> you know, posting ghetto boys lyrics and shit right they just want to be the good version of the cops like there's a good version of cops <laughs> it's that's like, it that's it because <laughs> well, we're, we're all consuming the same culture so people think you know like there's they're 
there's the identity that's like the sycophant, then there's the reactionary. And since we live in this kind of binary thing and we have public education that's all based on binary uh, logic and shit, motherfuckers think they're just supposed to study and then be a good cop. <laughs> <laughs> go you know, like they just like grow up and find what you need to police and then go do that right exactly <laughs> american man <laughs> american man go find someone that uh that you can direct your violence at <laughs> that's the only control you're ever gonna feel yeah it's like going up to someone else and telling them that they're wrong <laughs> uh i man one of my favorite things about uh, what I was taught and what I kind of learned when I got out in it was supposed to be about, or was supposed to be a uh, cornerstone of Southern culture, particularly, you know, rural country ass living in the woods culture was mind your goddamn business. That's why we live out here in the woods. Right. Fuck the police, fuck the law, you right. know, as we say, and mind your goddamn business. That's why we live right. out here in the capital of moonshining. And, you know, that I just, I'll never understand how that shift got so they, uh, uh, Trey Crowder uh, did a, a, a thing about a long time ago where he's like, what in the fuck happened where we started liking the police? That How did this how did that thing happen? I watched it over my lifetime. Yeah. Uh, well, I have people in my family. I have like men who have I spent decades in prison and people in my family pretend like they love cops. Even though cops have never done anything for them. They've never <laughs> called the cops before, you know? <laughs> they never had a conversation with a cop before. Uh, but because their TV tells them that there's some kind of weird leftist uh, movement on the rise that's going to make all their babies gay. Like, <laughs> and that's part of it yep yeah yep <laughs> feeds into the like homophobia and bigotry and all this other crazy shit like it does it's it's that's what they did they linked it uh really that might have been it um is the only way to to is you is you idolize the outlaw shit um as sort of like you you venerate it in this as this thing in history um because they still do they still like to you know, have, I'm the rugged outlaw man of the, you know, right. I, I don't have to listen to nobody. <laughs> you know, they, they still like venerate that. I'm going to carry my gun wherever I go. Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, motherfuckers roll in somebody's house and shoot a legal gun owner in their fucking bed. Crickets, uh, crickets, crickets from these nothing. motherfuckers. I ain't saying a word, nothing. you know, it, it's, it's they, but they did, they tied it to, leftist that's what yeah. they did they they made sure that you know okay here on this side this is the gospel over here we love east right the police over here right i mean it also could be they know that in all this Everybody, places, they know their they know their allies they right. know here it's it's out in the open you know police yeah. on the weekends they go do the militia boy thing up in the hills and right. do their little three percenter shit and all that kind of shit so that's oh yeah they're just fantasizing about and that's the funniest motherfucking thing that nobody thinks this is fucking weird that like the the people who get to kill people with impunity also spend their spare time pretending that they're going to get to just open range <laughs> gun down people yep they're just and like this is waiting everywhere. for a class of people that they can just hunt it, that, that's exactly it that's that's exactly it as as like uh fucked up as that you know or extreme as that sounds no yeah. that is fucking precisely it and yeah. and it's not this ain't just a southern thing either i used to think oh you know you know here in the hills of tennessee obviously yeah you get a lot of that uh the rod of iron ministries just bought a thousand acres not too far from me but right. they i mean you there's still it's everywhere man i talk to people all the time you know Mm -hmm. uh, all the way up in, in Washington. I, I used to think, you know, up there, the Pacific Northwest was like, nah, that's, that's a, a good stronghold for, you know, as far left as we're going to get here in uh, America, I, I guess. I don't know. But no, that was wrong. That was wrong as fuck. 
and I had yeah. no idea. Uh, it's everywhere. The, the, the motherfuckers are connected. I guarantee you. I was just asking about it the other day. I just wanted to know if anybody knew on Twitter, is there anybody, is there any journalist who specializes just in tying connections with, you know, small town cops and these white supremacist groups, these known white supremacist groups? Because we know the FBI ain't doing that shit. We know they're no. not doing that shit. Because they'll find something. Oh, God, no. They will have to fire half their, more than half their force in all these places. Guarantee. Yeah. I, I know for a fact at least yes. three counties around. If they, had to, if they had to start cleaning house, like half the law enforcement in the U.S. would probably get fired. It would, it, uh, yeah, maybe probably more. I mean, yeah. that's just what they could – hell, 40% of them are, are domestic abusers, and right. everybody now, I, th- I would think, fucking knows it. We Man, had a cop still- in Huntsville murder his pregnant girlfriend just like fucking a few weeks ago, and nobody gives a shit. Jesus Christ. Jesus. They, they fired him from the forest, and they were just like, whoopsie daisy. That's another killer cop in Huntsville. No big deal. You know? like. Uh, so I've been seeing them, um, the, the w- w- get repeat hires that have like oh yeah there's charges. no there's no national database for corrupt cops so they just right. jump from place to place and then like there's these articles where it's like this man raped 18 women and yeah, he kept dude, jumping from off and murders and shit like yes. like th- these things not not uh bad shootings while on duty i'm talking about he shot a motherfucker in a bar fight yes. or some shit and then we'll get a job again at another like uh, <laughs> that that's yeah that's i guess you're right that's one yeah. that you cannot you peel back that scab, we're bleeding till we bleed out. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> this shit. Well, you, you, you remember the, was it uh, the Aubrey case of the guy, the jogger who yeah, got yeah. gunned down? Local police weren't even going to report it as a murder until was, there was a national outrage. And how then, long did that go? I was wondering that. There was probably uh, about a week where they weren't, they were like okay. trying to decide what they were going to do, but people kept freaking out. So they actually had to. Yeah, it was more than just like a day or so. This wasn't something that that right. Like yeah. it was a while that they were not gonna. I was I was just arguing about this the other day with somebody. And um, the DA, well, thank God the DA was like, "Yo, this is just fucked up. You can't, <laughs> we can't be doing this. This is crazy. Y'all are just gonna let this slide because you're friends with them, you know?" Like Jesus Christ, man! Motherfucker chased a black man down in a truck and gunned him down with a shotgun. Yeah. If you yeah, if you come at me with a motherfucking shotgun, and they they claimed it was self defense, but if you run up on me and tell me to stop, and you have a shotgun on me, I'm yeah, th- not no, gonna th- stop. No, that's not. I, that's another thing you know, to, and that's how you know that it's real baked in and real good and baked in for people who aren't even cops, right? Right. And I see it all the time. I see it. In, Every, in my everyday life, you know, because I have to deal with a lot of these people. Um, right. But there is no greater sense of entitlement on the fucking planet than like just some r- random ass white dude, oh, or, you know, some random ass white woman, you know, yeah. like they're just it, like it, a little, just a little bit of money. I'm not talking about even have to be rich, you know, just comfy money. Uh, and and they will be some of the most like oh how dare you not you know listen to and and heed and you know my instructions at all times you know how yeah. dare you just ignore my assertions sir right. <laughs> right. Like, who in the fuck are you <laughs> yeah when i was younger i used to uh i used to like choke dudes and slap them a lot <laughs> uh, because sometimes just people like just people just get really goofy or whatever and and start talking really crazy to you and just be like yo you don't want to take it here just stop talking to me like that i'm gonna hurt you and then i'll like lose my shit oh it's so that's why violence becomes such a regular part of like because it is you know that's just the way we we grew up i know it's the same for you right it's not i know it's not like that now and i know this is like i got hit a, before i i got a warning most of the time right yeah that's but that's the way I know, and I'm not saying this is, I'm not in any way saying this is good. You know, no, no. I'm just saying that, um, you know, we, we actually, we, we, we fought a lot 
there was there was consequences for your actions right um physical consequences for your actions yeah. and that helped in a lot of situations with just the overall you know uh dealing with folks because yeah uh, you know it nowadays police involved in everything and somebody mm -hmm. might get fucking shot you know that's right uh, <laughs> it's uh used, used to be and I'm maybe I'm I'm just getting old, sounding like an old old fogey over here. But I think that that actually helped some of our uh, um, problem solving, uh, at least for those of us who don't have any other methods to do it. For right. those of us who will never have fucking and go to fucking therapy, bro. If I could fi even find a therapist, yeah, then, that's, you know, that's like, the funny part when like rich people be like, you just men need to go to men need to go to therapy. And it's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you? What, what, I need food. I need rent. I don't know what fucking world you live in. Oh my God. I don't need therapy. Therapy. I mean, Where, who in the, who, like, yeah, dude, that you can't heal one, from trauma. If you're constantly under economic violence, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're dealing with trauma every day because of your economic situation, going to a therapist is not going to help. And also, if you live in a bad place, finding a therapist is not going to be great. There, there it is. Finding one and then finding one that is that can even because think about what that is. Think about what that uh, purports to be the the idea of a therapist. OK, right. we're talking about something that you would have to be have a deep relationship to even have any real conversation on yeah. on a level that would you know what i'm saying like you have to develop a relationship with your therapist you can't like just go three times and you're like yep i figured out my childhood trauma <laughs> yeah man and honestly in my so i did uh the the one time um and it was of course you know granny spending her last dime because everything else she just wanted to try to help me she just didn't know you know right. she's just doing what she thought you know uh her last her last dime to get me to go you know just like twice uh and of course i you know i find out how much it's cost and then it's like god damn dude and mm -hmm. and what does what does this woman tell me uh, so first of all it's if you're really poor and you go to a therapist being in some in, in places like that uh it sucks. It just sucks, man. It sucks being in, in well, in around wealth and, yeah. you know, therapists usually got, got money. Yeah. Um, and you have to sit there and then in sit in that wealth and explain how shitty shit is for you. There's yeah. just something about that, man. It just, it's not, it's not cool. It's not fun to do. And, and of course this woman, the first it's, it's pills or Jesus. I'm right. I'm thinking, okay, a therapist surely will not. She's gonna come at me with pills for sure. Right. But surely she's not gonna come at me with Jesus. And that's that's literally what it amounted to. Oh my God. And and I'm like, you know, <sighs> my granny went broke for this. Uh and and that's you know, story of her. That's life. another thing about being homeless as a teenager. The only way a lot of people would help me is if I went to church. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's and it's like, that what is kind your of only weird. Option. Yeah. What kind of weird fucked up condition is that is that I have to worship your God and like read your text and I, and then you'll help me. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I read enough yeah. of the Bible as a, as a kid to know that, uh, you know, Jesus doesn't work on favors like that. And, and I mean, also, I need you to adopt my ideology like or you can't eat and you can't have housing. And, and I mean, nine times out of 10, even if you go through those motions, that that's hollow help. That, uh, yeah. mo now I'm not saying all churches are like this. Don't right. don't get it twisted. There's uh, I'm sure there's some churches they're doing some real good shit. Yeah, but definitely um, the ones that in my experience, you know, I've gone uh, to go get the canned yams uh, on Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I've been to the churches having the giveaway. We're going to we <laughs> that's what we're going to get. That's what we're going to be eating. Like I know it, it, it's very. It's it's a lot of that shit is performative. It's hollow. It don't last. It's not it's not real. It, yeah. It'll be, it's just enough to make them feel like they did a little something. You know, scratch it off the, the list right. and absolve some kind of guilt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It, it's it's not. Um, and that is that is just it. You are if you pouring in the south. A lot of the times, that is your only option. 
uh, and it ain't and it ain't really much at all. It ain't it ain't gonna carry you through a real through like somebody really struggling. Um, right. You know. Well, what used to piss me off about it is that um, so there would be like these like you know success cases or something that 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 the church would try to kind of push off or push off as like propaganda or whatever, and they'd be like, "Oh, Tommy, he was homeless and da da da, and he yeah, came from yeah, a yeah. bad home." Yep. And the church bought him, uh, bought him a car and got him his first apartment and helped him get started on the path. And Jesus saved him. It's like, no, yeah. motherfucker, you saved him. You gave yeah. him money. He needed money. <laughs> he needed money, man. And, yes. and, 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 and somebody to just show him some fucking love, right. you know, and nice that's awesome. And just help. If Jesus told you to do that, show him some love. Then that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad. But you know, let's be real about what's going on here and, and stop with all this, you know, charity and Jesus is going to fix the world type of thing. Uh, even Jesus didn't, yeah, even Jesus didn't agree with that shit, man. Like they, they forget a lot about, you know, <laughs> some of the stuff that even is in their own, is in their own doctrines. Like, right. I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to, I'm not trying to knock, uh, you know, anybody's thing, um, you know, I, I have a very negative opinion on Christianity because of the kind of Christianity I was brought up in. But yeah. at the same time, my granny is the only like I'm not here if not if it wasn't for granny. Granny yeah. is the one that the only one that ever, you know, was was in a position to do anything and, and did it. Uh, and so and she's you know, she says she always tells me, she says, don't thank me. She said, thank the Lord. Thank Jesus. Right. because That's why yeah. I'm doing it. And I'm like, Graham, no, you, you worked your whole life and, yeah. and paid into a system your whole life and, you know, were abused by a husband your whole life, stuck by him, you right. know, just to just because you were going through the motions to have a family and do the thing like you knew you were supposed to do. You did this. You worked and you did this. And and it's frustrating, man. It's it, <laughs> it's so frustrating to deal with that aspect of it here in the south because i get it i get it you know clutching onto that clutch it like a cornerstone otherwise it all comes down yeah. you know that's, that's all they can do yeah well when you're poor you don't have anything else so you just got to build yeah. these like abstractions yep just like they're that seem constant but the only reason they're constant is because you're making them constant so you could replace that with all kinds of things you know that can right be constant in your life and that's scary like yeah that's scary Anytime you, but, I'd but you have to examine be on it. Jesus than be on dope or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the thing. All anybody's what all the main thing is just examine it, be examine it all the time and trying right. to improve it and not, you know, uh, letting it be just, uh, an illusion that does nothing but, um, you know, let it not be just a pacifier, or just a, um, a thing that that keeps you operating in a mode that is profitable to violent people um or to a violent system mm -hmm. I, again i i got i got no beef uh, you know I, christianity it's a lot of different things religion is a lot of different things but mm -hmm. uh it's 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 fucking the game up i believe a little too much right now we got to I, I'm not one of these people that's going to sit back and say, oh, you're, of course, you're poor and dumb and religious. And, you know, look, I'm poor and dumb, you know, too. So I'm not, I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going to hate on nobody right. or, or say nobody's dumb for anything they do, any kind of religion, man. Right. I, I don't know what the, well, the thing is. We're all ignorant and we're all confused. And some people right. pretend like they got credentials that make them above that. And then. <laughs> And they're just as stupid as us. And, <laughs> and if you listen yeah. to them talk long enough, they'll say a bunch of stupid shit that's just straight up magical thinking that's made up in their head. And it's just <laughs> as dumb as like Christianity or anything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ is yeah. a symbol and you can uh, project and use however you want to. It's the same thing with like a, a college degree. It's a, it's a fucking symbol. It's something you pay for that says I'm better. I have credentials. I know. Uh, you don't know. It uh, is. It's, I'm it's, a point of authority on this. I'm the person who stands at the front of the room. You look at me. You ask for permission from me to piss. You move when the bell moves or tells you to. <laughs> you know. Uh huh. It's all like it's everything became way easier for me to understand when I realized that like everything is symbols and 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 how we choose to assign value to them and meaning. 
And what those meanings mean in different contexts, you know, gives them power and, or takes away their power. And, and I, you honestly, that's one of my, uh, one of the, my favorite things about your work that I picked up, uh, you know, there in the beginning was like, damn, that's a really cool way of, uh, of communicating that it, it, it makes it seem a little more, um, I don't know. It's, it's easier to organize in my head. It's easier to, uh, disconnect myself from the, the anger and stuff that I used to feel a lot about it. Cause that, right, you yeah. know, that's the way it manifested for most of my life was just, um, just anger and rebellion at any of that type of stuff. And so now mm -hmm. that I got kids, it's like, nah, 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 examine it a little more dispassionately, you know, right. uh, see it, see it for real. And then you, a lot of things you had written, um, help me just uh put it in in that perspective um and it's clutch dude it really does it it fucking yeah. helps a lot yeah the way I, I look at a lot of stuff especially with uh when you think of like micro to macro behavioral patterns it's like mm -hmm. i picked it up from like reading so it's like you read a bunch of great novels or whatever and you realize that like a lot of the human behaviors are the same no matter what time it's based in Right. Like right. there's colonialism in all kinds of great novels. You know, there's yeah. empire in all kinds of great novels. There's police states in all kinds of great novels. Yeah. That's this true. is how we like organize ourselves and we just give it different names and it becomes different symbols, but it's the same thing over and over again. That's why we deal with the same shit over and over again. That, that, right. that we find a way to hide subjugation through different symbols over and over and over again for a small protected class that, um, are at the top of a vertical relationship, you know? I mean, that's it. That That's it. It's, it's, and if you, like what we were talking about before, um, so even if you do have the, uh, the time or the, the, um, mental, uh, you know, uh, what, what should I, you can, you can devote, uh, some time to even get into that space of understanding these kinds of things, mm -hmm. ha even having that language or having these, these sort of ways to make sense of it all, like learning to do that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it's just, it's not something that it's like, not only is it avoided, but it's, um, it's like actively uh, suppressed. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's, it's such a fucked up thing. Yeah. Uh, and you, but you do see it when people like, uh, when you do have these kind of conversations, you'll have a conversation with a conservative before you both, uh, but, well, you, obviously you know what he is, but he doesn't quite know what you are yet. Right. And you can find yourself hitting these agreement points without going to any of the trigger words, you know, right. yeah. like, uh, and you, and so it's, it's just, it's funny how. Uh, and, and that it, it's, it's obvious you see that all the time. And, and that's why, because these kinds of things where we I don't know, sound cliche or whatever, but we're, we really aren't that different. Um, <laughs> you know, it's just the, those, those fucking magical hexes, the fucking incantations, that goddamn brain magic, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and people can't sort it out. People don't know that not nah, you, you are a magician. You're not, you didn't have magic. <laughs> that mm -hmm. you, you can control the magic you really can like <laughs> you yeah. could be a wizard bro just be, I, be a wizard <laughs> i use the term all the time uh, uh or the phrase exit your vertical relationship right because if you can't assign meaning to any of the symbols you use you will always be dispossessed of meaning time and just your life you know if you all don't ever time, no control no yeah, control yeah. over anything. I mean, and not that we ever have control over anything at all, because all of life is learning how to die. And we live right, in a right, culture of right. fear. And that's why they call it a death cult is because everything is to mask our fear of death because no one wants to deal with any of their fears. You yeah, know, that, nobody, that, that, nobody wants to scary. sit alone. Nobody wants because sitting alone is too close to being alone in the coffin. <laughs> it, well, so like I try to that, that's why. I, making the point of like, nah, you, you can be a wizard. <laughs> Wizards ain't scared of shit. I tell right. my son, my, so perfect example. He was scared to go back in the room. It was dark back there. Right. Uh, he didn't want to go back there by himself. 
Mm-hmm. And I, I sat and explained to him, I was like, son, you are the scariest thing. If you go in there, go in there and just roar and just scream and just be the scariest thing in there. Mm-hmm. And you ain't got to worry about shit. And then I saw something click in his head. He's like, oh, yeah. And now that's what he does. You know, hit that right. fear. You know, he knows what to do with fear. Right. Uh, and and that that sort of lesson on because like with some things we don't think of as fear but that's exactly what it is you know right. um that's one of the things my homie uh, savage taught me a long time ago um i never really quite picked up on was you know it's all either love or fear you can love or you can fear uh and so many yeah. things that i attributed to other you know things no it boiled down to fear fear was the root of it at, right. at the end of the day and we can't especially as men especially as men who come from this culture here in the South. Oh, what are you scared? What are you right. scared, bro? And, you know, right. it's like, bro, you are scared. I know you're scared. And the fact that you're acting like you're not, <laughs> you know, means you're very scared. It means you, Yeah. Means you don't even want to acknowledge the reality around you. You're, you're the guy in the fucking horror movie. That's just like, Oh no, no, this isn't happening. I'm not being eaten by a, fucking octopus right now you know that you're the guy that's denying it i'm the guy that's like whoa 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 <laughs> yeah know? that's why they call it the death drive because fear is what <laughs> drives you it fear of hunger fear of homelessness fear of you know dispossession fear of uh spiritual vacancies you know fear yeah. of fear of missing out is the seems to be the yep. biggest one that's always been like the one that's like destroyed the most relationships. Like even being in a touring band and stuff, you know, like if, 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 if my band would have like kept working at it and kept rehearsing and kept wanting to do it and stuff, you know, it would have been fine. But like, there was always this fear of missing out. Like we're not doing this correctly. And we're not doing that uh, correctly. And we should play this place and we should, we should try to get in good here. We kind of, it's like, we should just yeah. do what we fucking do and do it better than everybody else and we'll have a career right right you don't have to like mimic other people to be successful and if you are mimicking other people to be successful you are never going to own your brain or your time it's based on a fear that you are not good enough in your own shit Uh, yeah you're not in the right place and that you got to climb the right ladders and you got to get in the right spot and it's just like you're never going to be good at anything if you don't fucking throw that shit away and maybe that is one of the uh, another one of those poor superpowers is like you just learn to uh you know to put the fears in their place um or run towards fear or something's you know yeah i mean because that's the only thing you can you can do i guess maybe it's like um you know you you know that to after so many times of, of getting beat down by it or by, or just living in that, uh, having that fear over your head, mm-hmm. there is no choice, but to either, you know, put it, put it in its place as such and like analyze it, you know, try to be scientific about it mm-hmm. or completely reactionary to it. Right. Uh, you know, those are, those are your, your, your options. And when we set up things, you know, structures, especially here in here in America, I think that's a lot of it too, is um, mm-hmm. because there are a lot uh, enough folks who are comfy and who never really had to fight. And those folks get to be the loudest and those folks get to be, you know, who America wants to put out front as being, you know, no, nah, it, it, we're wealthy and comfortable and we take thing, take care of things with law and order and, you know, and, and that, that's the facade they want to put up. And, and a lot of people, enough people are able to live like that to where it, it um, makes us seem like the weird ones, you know, yeah. or, or at least in the, in the national conversation or the, or the overall right. uh, sp- spectacle of America. It mm-hmm. makes us seem like the, the, the crazy ones. I end up losing track of time. I don't get to talk to you know, folks, the, the, the few folks that do like, we do agree like this. Um, they're so caught up in, uh, you know, these things we've been talking about, they're so caught up in working all the goddamn time. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't ever get to talk to anybody about any of this stuff. I mean, damn. I think even, I think even, uh, 
even my brother gets a little annoyed sometimes when I talk about it too much, you know? Really? Because it's like, what's the point of talking about it? You still got to work every day till you die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why there is. So that is a real thing that some people, and I, I, get, and I don't I really that, understand. Though. Yeah, like, okay, I, I get, you know, some people wanting to, uh, you know, just be apolitical about it as for a lot of the time when they when they can um and it'll be but i mean it the the people who are a little uh, comfy enough to not really have to you know worry too much about it um but the you see them focus on things it's like they get they get caught it is because it is a tv show the whatever mm -hmm. stupid shit is going on in the political thing you know, a lot, nine times out of 10, it's some, it's, it's just pomp and circumstance and fucking bullshit. Right. Uh, and like people do, you know, you see them, uh, oh, okay. So you, you care that, uh, I mean, whatever, pick your, oh, they're, they're going to name a battleship after, you know, uh, an LGBTQ person or something right. like that. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. So you care about these kinds of things. Well, let's, you know, how about this? <laughs> like, you want to talk about something that's, you know, people are, fucking dying <laughs> you know mm -hmm. uh not not just naming some battleship uh, uh, you know like god man it uh the values are understand. completely fucked up like people people don't care about human life they care about cultural symbols because they know cultural symbols will outlast their meat suit so they like spend all their time trying to protect these cultural symbols yeah and i and yeah so it's it's that and i also think that it's a real it's like this thing. Oh yeah, this is the thing that's terrible, and we talk about it. It's not mm -hmm. like, oh, no, that's horrible, and we should do something about it. It is, oh yeah, this is the terrible thing. Uh, you know, just gets worse every day. It's just what it is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. that's not what's making it worse. It's like, you know, <laughs> like uh, the the constant <laughs> conversation I hear. You know, it's like, well, they're trying to make your kids gay. You know. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> like they're trying yep. to teach your kids how to be gay in school and just yep like, no motherfucker like oh my god how, you look at everything that's happening and it's okay there's this conversation i had with a libertarian a few weeks not a few weeks ago maybe around christmas maybe yeah, i think it was around then but um he just kept going on and on about aoc and she's the reason this country's fucked up and shit and i was like you don't think it's the trillion dollar plane that doesn't fly in the rain you know, you don't think it's uh, I just started going over a long list of just like how we just throw money into a fire pit and, and then while people die, you know, and it's yeah. Just like, well, it's well, like, yeah, well, no, there's I, I that too, but <laughs> right, exactly. It's like, well, he brought yeah. up he brought up that um, uh, we gave like a, a couple billion dollars to somebody for gender studies. And I'm just like, man, that's. I can't I, if, if that's what you care about when all this other stuff is going yeah, on. Yeah, like you, I don't know what to tell you. Right. Like if that's the thing that's got you all hot and bothered. And uh, I try to present the information to people like not in a dickhead way. We're like, well, you're a moron. I just like, well, you don't think it's this? Right. Yeah. I mean, you don't think yeah, it's this? You've you got to growing up where we where we grow where we grew up. Like you've got to be able to you know talk uh, to people talk to people like that. Uh, right. So yeah, I mean. And and a lot of the time, I will get that sort of, you know, response. Like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, but, well, yeah. that's true too. But, but also, you know, um, it, so like it's, it's those, th they hold on to those things. Those things are the ones they grip to, um, you know, because of that. If, because you, you can't, there can be no deep level analysis of anything. It has to be, you know. It has to be bite size. Speaking in one sentence. Yeah, it has to be bite size enough because I got to goddamn go back to work. <laughs> uh, I got to be able to see it on the ticker flying across my TV. <laughs> I got to be able to see it on the little ticker on the Fox News. Otherwise, yeah. I'll never know. And it's got to be a, a good, you know, it's got to be a personality that's the right color that I can fixate on. And Right. The capitalist funny. avatar I can project all my um, dreams and wishes on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, and again, if you try to get any deeper than that, a lot of times it's like, well, I try not to fool with any of it too much. I try not to pay attention to it, just do my damn job. Uh, yeah. You know, all of them's crooks. And it's like, yeah, yeah well, okay. <laughs> you know, 
if we we it's it it is uh it is frustrating and that's why you know I get the chance to to chop it up with somebody that you know will even just commiserating like I said like I was saying before just fucking commiserating man sometimes that's all you got you know yeah I mean well uh, uh, I say this pretty often but you'll never say something so clever that you don't die. <laughs> so uh being clever has 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 its things or whatever but like you, you're still gonna die yup and you're still gonna suffer and you're still gonna yep. be standing next to the people you're gonna stand next to yup whether you pretend to hate them or you pretend to love them or you pretend whatever while you're dealing with your own personal bullshit you're going to die and that is most certain and we're all going to suffer and that is most certain. And you're going to shit yourself and you're going to look dumb. Yeah. You're going to piss uh, yourself. You're going to shit yourself. You're going to fucking, you're going to get dumb. beat up at some point. You might get shot. You might get stabbed. All this shit is, I mean, like it's, we got meat uh, the, suits there. It goes back to the, you know, not as tough as you think you are. And that's the, one of the things that I notice a big difference in the old head Southern, you know, types that i i realize you know growing up now they're, they're all either dead or uh you know the the old outlaw hill types that you would meet sometimes my father's one of those people motherfucker would rather die than uh compromise yeah and well and they'll take their ass whooping they will oh my god yeah. they know the they the some of the best advice i ever got from one of those type dudes is you can only give an ass whooping as good as you can take one you mm -hmm. have that is the number one thing you want to learn how to fight learn how to get your ass whipped and right. they celebrate their ass whippings and they celebrate this you know their scars right. now it's this Oh, I'm way too badass, dude. I'm just so fucking badass that like I'm, I'm so badass. I'll go that. grab a gun if I get my ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, I'm such a hardcore operator, bro. Like I don't even have to worry about it. I'm a class I'm, A operator. <laughs> <laughs> I I roll, you know. I roll yeah. in the gym, bro. Uh, I, and I'm a, I'm like I'm like I, I should go down to the range. I shoot at paper targets. Like I'm so ready. I don't even have to right. go through any of the other stuff. That's it. That's what you get. It's a huge difference. And yeah. that's why a bunch of soft motherfuckers, you know, simulating uh, violence. Down. That's why they can <laughs> close their eyes and pull the triggers because they spend their whole life simulating violence and pretending that there's a class of people that they can commit acts of violence against. And also get so look what happens to them when they do, though. This is true every single time. Baby shit soft. Yup. Baby shit soft. Just crying, crying like a baby. Yep. Just wham. Yep. I Every can't believe time. you made me kill somebody. Uh huh. Like motherfucker, you did it, and now you got to serve your time. You got to go. And because you didn't, you didn't come to terms with it. You were never ready for it. You were never, yeah. you were never worthy of holding that fucking weapon in the first place. Right. And now look what you done did. And that's yeah. you know, I uh, any you know those of us who have committed violence mm -hmm. know like that shit don't go away. That's a that is who that is a thing on you forever, and you think about it. You don't forget mm. the times that you commit violence. You don't. I mean, you no. may forget. I'm not saying you remember every fight you have, but right. you kind of do. You know, you kind of definitely remember what it feels like to have a have your fist crack on someone's skull. You do. <laughs> the that that when or you're kicking you're somebody here in the thud. Yeah. Well, at the what got me and the thing I never forget, I get chill bumps talking about it is how what the look on people's the look on people's faces and the and how warm uh, blood is, how warm right. people are when they are in that mode, in that like fight or flight, am I dying mode or whatever. Right. Like that, you will never ever get that out of your head. You'll never get it out of your head. The reason uh, I've always stopped in fights is because at some point the person looks like a child to me. Yeah. So that that's that's kind of what I mean, dude. It's like a like they look up at thing. you like, please stop, please yeah, God that, stop, and you're like, thing. all right, that's what I was trying to tell you. Stop. You, I don't want to do this. You feel uh, life like for real you know like yeah. not like you you like you can like it's palpable life is uh i don't know it's it's a weird thing but you don't forget it when you commit violence and if you're not ready and if you're not you know if you've not put your head in the right place about it it is going to destroy you and turn you into something fucking gross mm -hmm. 
Yeah, man, I watch, I, I, I don't know why I watch them, but I definitely watch a lot of videos of just like old conservative dudes, just like shooting people over disagreements in parking lots. And it's just Pretty like, common. this was, this was not happening this much like 30 years ago. No, no, it wasn't. Old white people or just white people in general really do think that there's like a class of people that's like, well, it's okay. There's just a da 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 da. 100 percent 100 i like i know we're I trying mean, to make our way back to where like you know it's okay to commit acts of violence against a class openly you know and they're just trying to you're trying to figure out what symbol to attach to people that will work so you can take away their humanity and commit acts of violence so they've tried dude, communism I, leftism yep. queer you know whatever variation of like you know things yep and they circle back around. They just, yeah. you know, you know, go from from color to gender. They're molesting to, your children. Yeah, you know, yeah. like they think of the worst thing they could possibly simulate in their head, and that's what they assign to people, so that way they can like. The, and I mean, like I've heard it in detail, the insanity. You know, I'm talking about church folk. Somebody explaining to me dog the dogma of the church or the or the the actual um what i don't know what you would call it the the references that you point to <laughs> and where yeah. the bible says that black folk deserve everything that you know all of the horrors that have happened to them and will always yeah. be lesser because they are sons of ham mm -hmm. as opposed to sons of shem i guess like i heard somebody explain like with a with a this person believed this wholeheartedly uh like it was who they based a lot of their personality on their religion and and, and all that kind of stuff right. and they sat there with a straight face and and told me this and you know i remember like i how how do you how do you get to that fucking point? You know, like Jesus no. Christ. I mean, well, they think I, they need that ideology to take away other people's humanity. They think it's like, uh, you know, has some kind of, you know, utility function. Yeah. You know, to and I mean, like, I guess they create a system in which it does. You yeah. Know, where it so makes that sense. It, exactly. Yeah. The, the, the thing is like a lot of us, we don't, most people are not searching. They're just, uh, you know, they're just making up stuff as they go, you know, like, and then, and, and, and because it's this huge cultural symbol, they'll just assign their own meaning to it. You yeah. Know? If, yeah. If in private conversations like that, it's, I, I remember hearing a lot of crazy shit when I was a kid and I used to visit my father more, but I used to get these uh, white supremacist prison pamphlets or like, mm. Yeah. I don't know what you call it. It's like Christian white supremacists, but it was like pamphlets and small books and stuff. And what mm -hmm. they would explain in it was just like straight bonkers, crazy shit. Yep. Jewish people prefer blowjobs because they're trying to like uh, change the way women and da, 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 da. It just like all kinds of just crazy. Like the shit. wildest. Yeah. Like when you, when you, that's the thing is how crazy it is. It reads like, you know, like some, like some dystopian fantasy shit. It really does. Like, uh, yeah. It's like a fever dream of a mentally handicapped person. It really is. That can it write. really is. Yeah. And, and then and they're not like, isn't it so, it's like so true, isn't it? Can't you see? And it's like, <laughs> bro, you're. It's crazy. It's, it's so crazy, man. And like, uh, I don't so like I, using the word psychotic, but I mean, there's just, there's psychosis going around. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Ab and I would say being cultivated, uh, I don't know if that's even a thing that you, well, probably, I don't know if you can do that. Um, but yeah, like it is, it is actively being promoted uh, and, and cultivated, you know, to mm -hmm. fall into one of these kinds of things. Yeah. What I try to tell leftists all the time about just like poor folk in general is that you have to offer a better option. You can't just browbeat people and be like, well, you know, you're just, you're a bad person and you need to get better. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, you need to offer something better, something yes. different. Yeah. Don't expect the people who ha who don't have any of the power or the chips to be able to, you know, that's, that's, and I guess that does, it comes down to this point and a lot of these different situations and why they focus so much on hammering that sort of thing home is that, you know, you're, um it's on you buddy you know right 
uh, so wait, are we the most powerful country in the world uh, that's ever existed uh, with the greatest this and the greatest that people have the highest standard of living ever? Um, or is it just, nope, that's just, it, it's just the way you got it. That's just the way it works for you, buddy. Yeah, and, shut the, the fuck up time, and stop talking about your failure. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, 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 it's they, they have both of these things. I, I I'll never, it, if uh i never know what to say to people in those kind of conversations and that's why because because if they haven't lived it if they haven't seen it you know fuck man and i'm not not everybody of course there are a lot of people who have some money at least a little comfy money who recognize that they are just one disaster away from you know where i'm at and Mm -hmm. are they're generous and they're genuine uh but the the vast the majority of it is Mm -hmm. just uh, it's gross. It's never, and it's never gonna, it's never gonna get, it's only gonna make poor folk angry. And there's not gonna be very much um, debate or discerning between, you know, where the, the good um, ex- uh, exploiters, you know, which ones who, are, okay, who's the good exploiters? There's gonna be none of that yeah. if it comes to a head, you know, it, that's never the way it's gone before, you know. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not trying to be one of these guys that's like, you know, oh, yeah, uh, we're going to get fed up. We're going to go, you know, just start chopping people's heads off. I'm not, you know. No, gonna it's not going to happen. Because I'm not joking about it. Like, it, mm-hmm. because if it if it were to happen, it, it would not be a joke. And it's not something that any of us would enjoy, you know. Right. <laughs> so, but it does happen. It has happened before. And when it did happen, people did not discern they, there was very little uh they weren't very picky about it you know right yeah i don't i just think uh material conditions have to get way worse which basically would break a lot of people's delusions and until that happens nothing's really going to change in our structure yeah it's just going to get uh more violent and reactionary and um but it's like going to be on an individual basis you know right Right. And they're going to keep funneling money into the police state because there's so much unrest. You know, I mean, that's what we've seen. That's what nobody thing we believes in the national sure. project anymore. Right. Because we know that the national project is just vertical extraction. Right. Yeah. You know? There is no common, you know, that's why they shut the no... culture thing so far down our throats that yep. we have this mass culture thing that we can all share the symbols from because then we're one body mass of people because nobody believes in the goddamn national project. The national project is just bomb fucking brown <laughs> kids for oil. Or it always has been, yeah. you know, one or another form of violence. Um, or give money to militias so they'll overthrow governments that we don't like that are just taking care of their people. So yeah. that way socialism will never work in any other country because we're constantly destabilizing labor markets and funding militias to kill people. Yeah, I think a lot of that, you know, because uh, because that's that, the national project, really, is that? Well, yeah, it, exactly. Yeah, that that Cold War stuff, you yeah. know, the um, and that's another thing, too, that I I wish I was more educated on, because I think it does dictate a lot of the stuff that's that's going on now, uh, because a lot of those guys who came up in that time, you know, yeah. uh, are the ones with all the money and power now, right. you know, they were the, they were the, they were being, their minds were being molded during that time. Right. Um, and, and they are the ones that now hold all the cards. Uh, and it's like, um, yeah, it's a, it's a weird thing. I, I've been trying to pay more attention to it now that there's been a lot more, uh, you know, we're, we're doing the beating the war drums with Russia thing. Um, right but constant 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 uh there's something really important you should be thinking about instead of capitalism (laughs) (laughs) yep (laughs) like uh, we got a new war dropping next week uh so everybody can stop being critical of uh capital and uh, (laughs) yep you're gonna need us i mean that was one of the things i said about the pandemic i mean i don't you know i'm uh get I'm very careful about. I used to be a lot more prone to uh, trying to make a conspiracy out of something that could be explained with just these yeah. people are just evil and stupid, you know. At yeah. the same time, but um, you know, a uh, pandemic like this coming around along at the same time where you had the largest push for Medicare for all in history, 
like in this country, you know, yeah. like we, we, we were, it was in the, in the conversation more than anything, uh, right. more than, more than it had ever been. And we realized that everybody makes up the economy and when people don't go to work, the economy shits the bed. And it's like, well, maybe we should take care of the workers since they make up the entire economy. And it isn't just speculative wealth and people betting on <laughs> speculative wealth. <laughs> it's so funny how, how to watch how the coverage, the national, everybody, the national positions from the different, you know, groups have right. fluctuated with the pandemic. It is so fucking crazy. I mean, it's not crazy if you are, you know, an anti-capitalist, right. you know, very obvious what the entire motivation has been from the beginning, you yeah. know, uh, of it, of it all. Capitalism loves crisis because it can always make money off of it. Right. And, and that's why and, there's always a constant crisis going on is because dispossessed people make for cheap labor and they love it. And now it's happening so fast. It's such a, a short and in, in, in such short intervals that you know you can just go back at the beginning of the pandemic and see and and watch like any pick a talking head you know and just watch their coverage through the pandemic and watch it bounce <laughs> you know what i mean right. to whatever it needs to be to make the stock market go burr or <laughs> tell right, people right. To go to work or what or to uh uh be used like a political football like right. literally it, the entire fucking time mm -hmm. um and medicare for all died with the pandemic yeah. died dead i mean dead even though it should have been in my opinion should have that been, would have been the moment uh, exactly that that should have been it that should have been it because we were so you know just utterly uh under prepared yeah un unprepared completely you know <laughs> The part of the reason they did that big uh, trillion dollar package to, where they just gave a bunch of money to private companies. Um, <laughs> the reason they did it is so we go deeper in debt and they'd have to be like, well, the debt's too damn high. We can't do Medicare for all. It's like you just gave two trillion dollars to private companies. That should have been CEOs it right there. to do stock buybacks. Yeah. And, and fuck off with the fucking money. That's you could it. be helping motherfuckers. Like, I don't. We and, literally paid for Medicare for all like several times over with yes. just that first yeah and and there were some yeah of course people were talking about it but even all of the uh all of the people who ran on it uh do not hear it from them anymore none of them none it's got to be less than like 10 percent of companies that get subsidies and bailouts actually put that money into their workers oh god yeah if even yeah if even i mean there's a clear line as soon as they get the money they cut employees uh buy stock and raise their stock prices higher and then make a bunch of money for the the board members like it happens over and over and over and over you know and what then, else on a small scale it i just know from talking to folks every contractor around here every mm -hmm. dude which those are you know some of the most wealthy dudes around here uh, you know you got your own little construction crew you you doing good Everyone right. that I know, they all got PPP loans. Yes, uh, every single one of them. I and I know where you're going with this. <laughs> and and claimed that they were that they were unemployed, but they were still working the whole time. Right. They were still building the whole yeah. fucking time, but they all got PPP loans. You know. So like, I, I, I knew a restaurant owner in Huntsville who got a, a huge PPE loan, and then he cut his entire staff and did renovations on his restaurant. Mm. Jesus. And then at the Jesus. end, at the end, hired, you know, had like maybe three or four employees left and started paying each of them like $30 an hour for a few, like a month or two. Oh, dude, here they're unapologetic about it. Yeah, all these, yeah, these construction dudes, yeah, they, they get the PPP loans. I mean, well, this literally is none of it was ago. put back into the community. It was literally well, just um, a direct loan to private business owners to just do whatever the fuck they wanted to do with it. Every single one of their employees is is an exploited uh, uh, Mexican worker or Honduran worker. Every single yeah. one, every single one of these guys that got the PPP loans, they they aren't at the job sites. Yeah, you, you know the, these poor folks who are just trying to you know make a little bit of make a little extra have to work for God knows what he's fucking paying them. You know, mm -hmm. he does, it's not like he has to pay them. You know, like they're I mean 
it's across the board. All of these const- construction crews up here, dude. Yeah. Uh, you know, they 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 get these big fat loans. I mean, they they ain't been hiring. It, it, it's tough for just this whole area in general. Completely, the construction um, market got taken over by that kind of labor. Um, the, and it's all the dudes, every single one of these dudes gets on Facebook and talks shit. God damn illegals coming in here. Blah, They're the blah, ones ruining in this country. And it's yep. like, every single blah, blah, blah. one of them while they profit from these fucking people's labor, dude, like yeah. literally what, what puts them in their fucking house yeah. is, and, and beats their fucking kids is these people that are out, you know, doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. It, it's, it's, uh, oh God. All of them, big fat PPP loans, driving around big fancy new trucks. You know, right? <sighs> it is a bummer. It is a bummer. Like just like, and no, and knowing all of it, and it doesn't matter how well you explain it, people just walk away from you. Right. And it's just like I don't. What the fuck are we supposed? To, I don't know what to do, man. You know, like yeah. it's like I, 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 I can, I can comprehend what's happening. I know what's happening. I read every every morning, like I catch up on the news every morning. I understand everything that's happening. When you talk to people about it, they don't want to know about it. No, they just want to keep their own opinions. Yeah, just They're surface not- level, whatever, a little bit, you know, that that perks their particular interest that they have or sounds juicy to them, but right. nothing deeper than that. Juan is not fucking you over. It's it's fucking uh, the local men of capital. Dude, it drives me so crazy because here it's it's like a big issue at, at where I'm at in Tennessee um, yeah. because we we literally have towns. So Gatlinburg, perfect example. Gatlinburg runs on the undocumented uh, labor, mm-hmm. restaurants, the building of all the cabins, the building of the hotels, all of it, and. You and it's it's all so compact, you know, because it's all in these little pockets of the mountains. Mm-hmm. But it's literally you got all this wealth, all this money, insane, uh, you know, big mansions in the mountains. People flying in from all over, spending all this money. A conservative mecca, right? Just over the mountain, you just go through a little cove, and you hit the, the back streets, and there are these, you know, old janky apartments. That'll be run by, you know, some white folks, right? Uh, you know, and it'll be, you know, just packed full of folks from Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala. Uh, and they literally make the whole town run. The whole fucking town runs yeah. because of them and nobody else. There's it's not it's not Dolly. I fucking promise you it's not Dolly. No. <laughs> it is. It is Juan. <laughs> it is Jesus. Right. Uh, and I mean, that. You know, cheap labor makes every city run and puts the food on your plate like that. Yeah. You know, um, I literally like yeah. literally quite literally making nine know. dollars an hour. I was a line cook and uh, I had a shift where I was making I was catering food for 300 people. So I was cooking like 300 chicken breasts. Ooh. And then we had an open, open, open menu restaurant. So I had about like 75 tickets on the board and cooking for 300 people making nine dollars an hour. Jesus, man. And and like, then and that, that motherfucker has the audacity to call himself a job provider. <laughs> <laughs> like you are a motherfucking Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I used yeah, to talk man. about that shit in the kitchen all the time or whatever it, because because one time the our boss was like uh, I don't pay y'all to talk about y'all's wages. And then I immediately Ugh. was like, I make $9 an hour. And then other people in the kitchen started saying what they made <laughs> in front of him. <laughs> and I, I said to him, I was like, you don't own my, you don't own me for $9 an hour. I can talk about whatever I want. God damn right. Fuck. Like, I don't that, know. That'll never cease to amaze me is how cheaply they think, you they know, can buy people, they can yeah. buy people for $9 an hour. Like, and how look, certain like oh no i'm 100 percent certain you know yeah it's dude <laughs> say, say it with conviction that i don't have rights as a human being because he because he pays me a little bit of money and okay so if it was if this was the case and they were the slightest bit grateful it might be a little different but not right. only are they not grateful it is they spend their free time 
not only talking shit about folk like us, right. but actively um, contributing to systems that ensure that we stay, you know, right, uh, where we're at. folk like us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So they like want us renting forever. They want us renting right, till we right, die. Right. They want us working for low wages till we die. They want us to not have health insurance. They want us to just never be strong enough or secure enough to actually fight back. They just want us to create their wealth for them and shut the fuck up and die in a yep. ditch. Yup. It's like the whole plan for men of local capital is that. Fuck like, that. Yeah. I ain't going to do it. I'm going to become a goddamn hill pirate. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's my, my whole thing is I'm, as much as I am in the system, I am not in this system, you know, and that's just yep. that the closer to freedom that I can get is just detaching from the system, you know, yep. that's why I don't have a cell phone. That's why I don't, I mean, I don't, people can't get in touch with me really. I choose when people <laughs> get in touch with me, yep. you know, yep. I, I hear you, man. Nobody pays my bills and nobody really cares about me and stuff. But the people that I do care about and the people that I do help and uh, people I help with organizing stuff and, you know, little leftist ventures here and there, um, they can get in touch with me. But not everybody can get in touch with me. I don't want everybody to get in touch with me. Right. Nah. I I mean, we we are we ain't got connections like that. And we we ain't I ain't going to fake them. I'm going to make sure that the ones that I do make are really fucking strong. Right. And I'm going to focus on those and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to take hope you know in those uh yeah. you know that's the only place i'm gonna get it from so uh you know that that is that's the only that's the only move like that's the mm-hmm. only hope there is to be had is figuring out how to detach with those uh exploitative systems and become closer with you know the, those people that you have uh like a real love like a love as a as a human being you know for what they are as a human being not a you know with with no other shit attached to it you know right. just radical Values. love just re- exactly exactly uh you know and and cultivating those things and i mean i guess part of that is learning how to cultivate motherfucking food and clothes <laughs> mm-hmm. and, and and uh some knowledge of how to you know, uh, make sure that you stay healthy and things like that. Cause you know, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Staying healthy is a tough one. Yup. I'm just thinking about that. Like my looking at my healthcare plan here, my couple of gallons of water I drink a day. But I mean, even that, like I was thinking about this, I've got a spring. That's one of I live in a place where the land naturally filters a lot of water. We get a lot of water and the land filters it and gives us a fuck ton of springs. There are houses in Knoxville uh, where the literal, uh, you'll be in Knoxville, not far from downtown and the basement will have a clear, beautiful, awesome spring in it. It's, it's fucking magical. But Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like that, just thinking about that alone, how fucking lucky I am, how fucking lucky I am just for that. Uh, you know, you, you probably ain't got springs everywhere where you're at, do you? You probably, no. you know. No, there's nothing like that down here. Alabama, water in South Alabama is shit. I mean, shit. Yeah, speaking of, our uh, our water was just like fucking orange clay for a few days, a few days ago. Like, yep, just, it'll, that, just yep. randomly, I just turned on the faucet and it was orange. And I'm like, it'll okay, I guess I can't drink water for a little while. <sighs> yep. I mean, that's the thing. Like, Or shower. You know, so many of these things we're we're attached to being able to have have control over it. Um, you know, and trying to trying to sort that shit out. You've got to have your mind in the right place and be able to you know examine accurately. You know the the systems in place around us. If you're even gonna if you're even gonna you know uh, think of the idea of of taking control of you know your your food, your water, your 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 shelter. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, they know they know motherfuckers can't be worried about that shit they know you know they know that motherfuckers will never be able to take control of that shit <laughs> they make sure yeah Fuck, man yeah i think it was a good talk though i think it was awesome